Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today I am going to show you how you can import Excel files to access on a click of a button. So I click on this button, click on browse. I choose my Excel file, which is on my desktop. And if I just click on import spreadsheet, it is going to import the file on a click here. So let me close this one. <coughs> and suppose you have some errors in your file and that is also being handled over here. So I click on browse and I know there are some errors in this file and I click on OK and I click on import spreadsheet. Then you get some error over here because I know there is a space in the header and it is going to prompt that. So sales is not a valid name. Please make sure blah, 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 blah. Skip column header and continue. So, okay. So if I click on okay here, this will still import the file and take the header of the Excel as very first row. So every time this will import your file. If there are errors, then this will uh, import import the data and uh, treat a uh, very first uh, header, the header of the column as a row, okay? So I know this feature is already in Excel file, uh, in, in Microsoft Access, but uh, that uh, uh, takes time to, uh, you know, import and follow some steps. But over here, you can just click on browse and import your files easily. Okay, so let us see the VBA code behind it. This is for those who want to understand how the code is being built. Uh, this is necessary to understand because if you are making any changes in the automation, you should know that how the everything is working in the backend. So I hit Alt F11 over here, Alt F11, yeah. Again, I click that. So I go to view and click on design view and I go to my browse and right click and click on build event over here. So what it is doing is uh, uh, it is uh, throwing a dialog box and asking me please select Excel file and then it is going to select the Excel file and then feed that Excel file name in this particular box. You see it over here. Here we input the selected Excel file name in text box. Makes sense. Now we click on import spread spreadsheet and click on build even again. And let me see what is the code behind. First, it is uh, going to check if the file is, exists or not. If the file exists, then it is going to call a procedure which is, which is called as import Excel spreadsheet. And this procedure is right here. So once the procedure is being called, then we pass the complete file name over here to this, this procedure. And then we also pass the file name, just the file name and the path. Yeah. In other one, we are going to check if that file exists. And the other one is file not found. Because either the file exists, either the file is invalid or the file doesn't exist. So all criteria is over here. How this procedure is running is uh, we are running this command over here, do cmd transfer file, blah, 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 blah. This has a complete syntax over here. And we are using on error resume next. It means that even if there is error, please continue. If we get this error, I know that there is a invalid column. So if there is an invalid column, then we will ask the user to skip that particular, uh, particular uh, header. Okay, not to skip that particular header. It, it, it is going to take that header as a row. So still we are going to import the data. That is the second case I have shown you. And then we show message as done. If error is not this one, there might be some other error. So we are going to throw the error and then we, go, we are going to exit it. And then at last, there is a message box as done. This one is a, this a link to my YouTube channel. 
when we click over here it goes there so very simple code very uh, easy to use and you will also get the link of this particular automation in the comments and you sorry in the description and you can download it and use it it's, it's for free it's 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 a free of cost yeah all my automations are free of cost and um, if you want to make any changes you can make yourself and enjoy if you have any questions you can ask me in comments thank you for watching and for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you and take care